Hey, this is my first game devlog for the game I'm working on, Rehabilitation. Or Wasteland Warden. Or The Jailer. Or I'll figure it out later. It's a tactical grid turn-based role-playing game with monster taming elements. So you know, a TGTB RPG MT. Our little buddy here wants to cram all the post-apocalyptic baddies into the shipping container here, then force them to fight for him. So pretty much the modern prison system, but with a lower pixel count. But our buddy here didn't start off hating desert criminals. There was a time when all he wanted to do was settle down and start his own zoo. As you can see by my Unity project name. Originally the game was going to be a knockoff of Stardew Valley where you managed a zoo. I was playing way too much Stardew at the time, and I had to justify all that time, uh, research. So I started writing out all of the stuff I wanted in the game. Day-night cycle, bunch of NPCs, wrote some scenes, and then the monsters. That's where the problem started. See, to make a game with all kinds of stuff in it, you need to be able to, well, art. Now I'm a programmer, and I'd say I'm pretty competent. You know, variables, functions, polymorphism. What I would not say is that I'm an artistic genius. My biggest artistic achievement to this date is probably these doodles I did instead of listening to my English teacher. See those stick men there? Aw oh, yeah, that's the kind of groundbreaking achievement I produce. With all my deserved confidence, I threw down some pixel art monsters, and as beautiful as they were... So looking for some pixel art for my game, I found some great character designs and animation by my man, Penusbmek. Pen... 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 Oh, Pen USB Mike. Ah. Uh, by a pixel artist on Twitch. Hit up the link in the description to check out his work. His cool brand of low-res sci-fi art was just too good to pass up, so I grabbed a few of his packs and then realized the zoo idea? It didn't really work well with the art, so I threw out all the planning. So, back to the drawing board I went, which in this case is a text file, because again, I'm a programmer and I don't own a drawing board, or even really know what one is. I started thinking up a future post-apocalyptic setting along the lines of like Fallout or Mad Max. I wanted to keep the grid-based tactics that I had already planned out because as a kid I fell in love with Final Fantasy tactics and it led to me hunting down any similar game, playing Tactics Ogre, Front Mission, Fire Emblem, and I think it's time to put all that research to use. I thought I would try to push the team gathering a little bit more towards Pokemon than how it was done in Final Fantasy Tactics because, well, I thought it would be more fun that way and this is my game, so that's how it's going to be done. So with a little less planning, but a lot more art, I started messing around with Unity. I put this fella in because he looked cool and made little movement script thanks to Brackies. So I wanted to make it side-scrolling but with a bit of depth kind of like the old brawlers from back in the day, like Double Dragon and the old Ninja Turtles. This seems to be a fairly unique style, so I thought it would be cool to do. So I hit the old 3D button in Unity and... Looking at how to, well, ground in 3D, I came across the Terrain tool. All you have to do is slap it on the project, find a nice sand texture to make a material, and BAM! You have a beautiful desert canvas. This made it so that I could get the parallax effect without dealing with sorting layers. Parallax scrolling is the technique of making different parts of your background move at different speeds to simulate 3D in a 2D environment. So naturally I wanted to simulate this 2D technique of making things look 3D in this 3D environment to make it look 2D, trying to be 3D while actually being 3D trying to look 2D. You know, normal dev stuff. It was an interesting mix of minimal pixel art with realistic terrain that I really thought that would make the game stick out a bit. My next problem came when trying to make a building. I had this wonderful shipping container here, so I tried a 3D element with pixel art as its material, and well, it looked horrible. After almost a day of trying to get this to work, I decided to scrap the whole terrain idea and just try to make it look like the examples in the asset pack, 
because those looked way better than anything I could come up with using 3D elements. But to see how horrible that went, you'll have to wait until next episode. Because this video has already taken me two days to make, and I want to get back to making my game. I'm going to try to put out a couple of these a month, though, along with the development of my pixel art, sound, music, and writing skills, which you can follow along with on my website, chillinggames.com, link in the description. You can also find all the links to my socials there, where I try to drip feed updates for my development, if you're interested in that kind of content. Otherwise, hit that like, subscribe, complain about my mic in the comments, and I'll see you next time.